Good day everyone. <clears throat> Today I'll be presenting you this little uh, frequency generator with adjustable duty cycle that uh, you can get at IC station. It has two incorporated potentiometer but also has the uh, <clears throat> availability to use external potentiometer which I basically did right now. I have my frequency on here and I have the duty cycle on this one. Uh, it has two output, which they're 180 degrees uh, off phase. So one is going to be the exact opposite of the other one. And I have all that connected to my multimeter that's going to be showing the frequency and a dual channel uh, digital oscilloscope right now that's going to show you the waveform. All right, let's power it on. The input power can be anywhere from 6 to 30 volt according to the website. So right now I'm having it powered from roughly 7 volt. And you can see here the 50 first digit represent the duty cycle and this actually represent the um, frequency. You Apparently there's various uh, device you can get that will go from different frequency. The one I have goes from one one hertz to uh, about a thousand hertz. Get the multimeter running. There we go. And here's the waveform. The output of this uh, basically just pulls, just goes to ground, so you can basically feed it uh, pretty much any voltage. It's just a little MOSFET that gets activated. So what I did is I hook up to 1K resistor to 5 volt, and then it just gets pulled low every time it fires. Now. You can also see the frequency right here. Not the most accurate frequency ever, but it works pretty well. It's actually pretty stable. Let's uh, increase this. I'm now at uh, 140 hertz. And if I change my You can adjust the duty cycle, which is exactly what I'm going to do. It's a bit hard to do it one-handed. Alright. And this will go from 1 to 99. And if we look on the scope, now this is 1. And I'll just increase it. 14, 38... 60 will go all the way to 99. All right, back to 50. And the frequency will simply go up. Now, of course, if you want to use this into uh more precise device, you'd probably, I would suggest you to use multi-turn potentiometer. The value of the potentiometer don't really matter because all it is, is it takes the positive and the negative, so the five volt, and then it just creates a voltage divider for the uh, microcontroller in there. So response is pretty quick, but then again, multi, a multi-turn would get you way more accuracy and precision on the, uh, on the setup of the frequency there. Well, that's pretty much it. There's not much to show beside uh, some little waveform here. So 
Thanks again, IC Station, for sending me this, and I'll see you next time.